Now, after this, what I'm going to do is, let me think about this for a second. I'm actually going to pause the video and write this bit of code for the validating the email because I'm going to need to go ahead and um, write some regular expressions and it's going to take a while So, because I'm really slow with the regular expressions. So hold on one second while I pause it. All right, so I went ahead and I coded it and this is what I got. So what I did is instead of, you know, uh, talking you guys through all this uh, regular expression, I actually had to look online for most of it. I went ahead and I tested what they entered for the email. If they didn't enter anything, then of course it's going to test true for empty. So then we just um, gave them an error message. Dude, please enter your email. Please enter something. The next thing I did is I wanted to uh, test a regular expression to make sure that what they entered was actually a valid email. And that includes this regular expression right here. And what this regular expression does is it makes sure that the string that they entered is in the email format. For example, um, you can't enter dollar sign, dollar sign, K H H. That obviously isn't an email. You can't enter just numbers, just letters. Those obviously aren't emails. So this makes sure that the string is in email format. And I actually don't want to word wrap that. Now, if it is indeed in the email format, then what we need to do is we're going to take that. And I want to run this through the function my SQL real escape string. Now you're going to see this function a lot because this is a security function. What it does is it basically takes a string and it converts it into a string that's database safe because there are some things that users can type in such as MySQL and it can actually get passed into your database and ruin your database. So this pretty much makes sure that uh, it's MySQL safe and I'll talk about more at the end of this uh, series when I talk about PHP security but hopefully this is what we want to happen if not and it doesn't pass the test of a valid email then we just say hey dude your email address is invalid maybe you forgot an at sign or you know something stupid like that but after we validated username and after we validated email then the only other thing we need to do is we need to validate their password field what they typed in for password so this is going to be real easy. The first thing we want to do is, I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy this beast right here, is I'm going to go ahead and check if password is empty. Obviously, you can't type nothing for a password because what kind of password would that be? If it is, then let's just go ahead and steal on a bunch of stuff. Please enter a password. Else then what we're going to do in this case is set create a variable called password and we're going to set this equal to my sql underscore real underscore escape underscore string there we go it turns blue that means you typed it right and now just go ahead and throw the password right in there and what this pretty much does is it cleans up their password so it's safe to enter our database and it stores it in a variable called password now before I continue I want to mention this you guys are probably saying okay one second why do you need to escape the password and escape the email to make sure it's safe for the database but you didn't need to clean up the username well the reason I don't need to clean up the username is because we're only allowing the user to pretty much use a username that consists only of numbers and letters. Now, the things that are not safe for the database are things like MySQL comments, which include quotation marks, um, uh, slashes, like forward slashes and stuff, and like uh, minus signs. Those are all the symbols that aren't safe for the database. Now, since the username is not allowed to have these, these things, but you can indeed have like quotation marks in your password, and uh, you know weird symbols in your email possibly then that's why I wanted to clean those up so basically there we go we validated the username the email and the password hopefully if they don't generate any error messages then 
we have three nice variables username email and password that are ready to be thrown into our database so there you have it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video where we are actually going to be throwing these and testing if anyone else is registered with this information